In this video, I will be showing you guys how to get the original Diablo on your PS Vita. This was very recently ported across and it actually works quite well. Um, you will actually need the original Diablo game files so you can either install them via a disk or if you have them um, you know just off the internet you can do that but obviously that is a bit dodgy. But yeah in this video I managed to get it working and it's pretty cool and the guide doesn't really tell you exactly what to do so I just thought this video would be quite useful. So what you guys want to do first is make sure you have a hacked PS Vita with Vita shell because we will need that so go ahead and open up Vita shell and we need to connect our PS Vita to our computer so what we're going to do we're going to press select we're going to go and connect it via the USB and I will show you guys what we have to do now the actual setup to this game is a bit strange but you want to go to their official github I will leave a link in the description of this video you guys can go over to it and if you scroll down you can actually find the how to play section so what you want to do first is make sure you have a Diablo CD or you have the install folder or the ISO for me I actually had the ISO so this was very easy for me to set up you also want to click this link right here and you want to grab the Diablo D VPK or in this case it's called um, Devolution X for PS Vita so scroll down click on assets and we want to grab this VPK right here so simply just click on this and wait for it to download now if we just go back to this guide section it's basically going to tell us how to install it if I just show you in my downloads and um, this is the VPK that I literally just got and here is my Diablo so I actually got this off the game's ISO and this is what all of the files should look like if you do not have a Diablo disc and um, you can get one off eBay or you can find the ISOs online but obviously it's not really recommended and um, it might be a bit dodgy as well but yeah these are all of the files that I had um, that came with my Diablo ISO and basically what you want to do is make sure your PS Vita is actually connected you want to go onto it you want to go into the data folder now in the data folder this is the file that you're looking for so it's called dvlx0001 if you don't have this right click new folder and basically just create one called this as i said i've already got it so i don't need one so i'm just going to remove that but yeah you basically need to have this folder and this is where your game files are going to go so go into this folder right click and we're going to create a new folder and we're going to call it save all in lowercase we're going to press enter now we're going to right click new folder again and we're going to create another folder called data all lowercase and press enter now we need to go into our downloads folder and we need to find our Diablo files we've got to double click we've got to select everything in there right click and copy then we're going to go back to our PS Vita, make sure we're in this folder inside of the data folder. We're going to go right click and we're going to go paste and we are going to wait for everything to copy across. Alright guys, so once that has finished transferring across, you actually want to go back to the guide on the website and you want to select this line of text here. What we're going to do, we're going to right click and we're going to copy it. Basically, this is the main file for the game. It's diabdat.mpq. Now go back onto your PlayStation Vita and we need to find it in here. So it's this one right here. You need to right click and you need to go and rename. And first of all, we're just going to call it 111 and press enter. This is just going to reset it so it's not in capitals anymore. Now right click and properties and we're going to paste in the new name click on ok and as you can see now it's working so select this file and we're going to drag and drop this inside of the data folder and there you go that is pretty much it now what we have to do is we have to transfer across our vpk and um, that should take one second so let's just go back to our downloads find our vpk drag and drop it onto our vita and there you go so what we're going to do we're going to go onto our ps vita we're going to install the vpk and we're just going to check that the game's working Okay guys, so once we're back, we've got to install our VPK, so let's just go onto our UXO and let's go and find our VPK file, which is called devolutionx.vpk. Press X, X again, and we're just going to wait for this to install. Okay, so once that is done, we can close out of each shell and we can go and find the VPK. And here it is, Devolution X. Once you press X on it, you can see it is Diablo. So what we're going to do, we're going to press X on start and let's go and load this up. So if you get any errors, look at the error message and see what it's telling you to do. Um, current, common errors are your data folder is not set up correctly, or your save folder is missing, or your um, file that we renamed is all in capitals. So yeah, we can just press start and we can go ahead, we can skip this cutscene and we can go straight into the game and test it out.
So you go, we've got single player, we've got screen size, and the screen size seems to be full screen by default, which is very good. And I believe the touch screen works as well, which is actually pretty cool. As you can see, we can scroll on single player, um, and we can actually choose our characters. So if we've got, we've got Rogue, I'll choose this one. We can input our name as well. So I think we might have to use the hand for this one. I'm not too sure. Okay, there you go. I'm just going to choose M, because why not? And then we're going to go down, we're going to do OK. Now the cool thing about this game is the music is actually very nice. And you can actually use the touch screen to like control your character. So you can get the, um, the person to walk over here and stuff like that. And yeah, it's a pretty interesting game. Um, I've never really played this before, but it is very popular. I believe the back touch screen also works, which is a bit strange. So you guys you can see, I can tap with the back touch screen with my hand. And it will actually move my um, character around as well, which is a bit strange. Um, I wouldn't actually expect a ported game to use the back touchpad but there you go it does work and I have no idea how to play this to be honest but I know you select these potions or something like if I just tap them and I can do stuff with it I have no idea what it actually does uh, maybe that's how you drop stuff maybe I can collect it again actually how can I collect it? Yeah, I can. So yeah, I don't understand how to play this game. There it is. If you guys are Diablo fans, you will enjoy this. That is pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.